I made a really big mistake yesterday in our video about the Baltimore Ravens and I had to come on here and apologize to y'all because I gave you incorrect information so that's on me that's my fault so let's get it cleared up yesterday in the video we talked about how the Baltimore Ravens they restructured the contracts of Roquan Smith Justin Tucker and Namdi Matabike and they cleared out 9.3 in cap space but my understanding which was completely incorrect uh, my guy Phil he reminded me of it he said hey engraven I was watching the vault and they explained it on there correctly and I just wanted to let you know that you were wrong about it he ain't said it in, in no rude way or anything like that I'm just paraphrasing but he basically let me know like hey this is what it is and that is what it's not so and, and I told him I appreciate that so much like if I ever get anything wrong Please let me know. Respectfully, of course. You ain't got to be engraver, you stupid engraver, you dummy engraver. But just, just kindly let me know. You can, <laughs> you can always let me know, but because I'm gonna get stuff wrong. Like y'all already know, I'm, I'm gonna get stuff wrong. But yeah, yesterday I was like completely incorrect about it. Um, but what I was saying in the video is that I thought that the Baltimore Ravens had 9.3 mil in cap space, but they don't. This is from RussellStreetReport.com. It says. Those three restructured deals bring the Ravens' current salary cap picture to 4.8 mil under the cap. So Ravens don't have 9.3 mil in cap space. They have 4.8 mil. What's funny about that is that I was thinking like, oh, man, the Baltimore Ravens, they could do something big because they got a lot of extra money because what the Baltimore Ravens normally go into a season with is about $5 million cap space for insurance money, for a rainy day fund and whatnot. But they walking around with $9.3 mil. Oh, they must got something up their sleeves. So that, that's what it, but it turns out that the number that I, I talked about in that video that they normally have is what they actually have about five mil in cap space so they can they could do something with that if they choose to they could still make some stuff happen but it's just i just had to get that cleared up because again i was wrong on what their cap space number is um it also says uh russell street report capologist brian mcfarlane and he breaks this stuff down like crazy uh he shared via twitter that this rainy day fund will be sufficient for now but if the ravens suffer a few injuries that require injury reserve designations or if they wish to make an in-season trade gm eric DeCosta might need to do some other restructuring so yeah so again that is what it is they got a little under five mil in cap space and they do have other players that they could go to they could go to lamar jackson they could go to mark andrews they got other players that are on big contracts that they can approach uh to do some restructuring if they want to gain some more funds but again my apologies because i explained it completely wrong yesterday i had misunderstood it myself so that's on me that's my fault so my apologies to all of y'all that i confused my apologies to anybody that i just i gave y'all the wrong information so i just wanted to come on here and say my bad Team keep it clean I know you see it baby This is the new hoodie From Heart of the City Clothing And they really hooking y'all up Again like they did last year They took care of y'all big time So if you want Your own Heart of the City Clothing Then you can go to the website The link is down below In the description And to get 20% off Not just a hoodie If you want to get two hoodies You want to get three hoodies You want to get four hoodies To get 20% off Your entire order The whole thing Use code engraven20 and they'll take care of you. Now somebody else who getting taken care of and he say cut the check is our guy Lamar Jackson. Well, you saw him in that Gatorade commercial. Hey, there go Lamar, there you go. That's him, that's him. But he ain't just stopped there because he went from Gatorade to being featured in the GQ Mega. What? Okay, now Lamar, we see you, boy. And now he just recently had an interview in the Washington Post as well. So Lamar, he making moves. He making moves. There was a comment. I, I think it was Paul Pierce because uh, it was Paul Pierce on the show with Joy Taylor. Shout out to Joy Taylor and, and Keyshawn Johnson too. It, it's... It's a weird combination, but hey, we'll see how it goes. But this segment, it didn't really start off or end off really good. Paul Pierce was just basically talking about Lamar Jackson, how he cannot be the face of the league. And he said it's probably because he plays for the Baltimore Ravens. And I said, hmm, but didn't we have Ray Lewis, who was definitely one of the faces of the league? Anyway, um... He said that nobody talks about Baltimore like that. And with Lamar Jackson, he got all these accolades. He even compared him to um to Jason Tatum. I like, mm, uh, I no, that's no. A two two time NFL MVP. Like I feel like with Lamar Jackson, 
if he really wanted to be the face of the league, he could. He could be for sure. Um, right now, obviously, I would say the face of the league is Patrick Mahomes because he's in everything. He's everywhere. I mean, they won like 50 million Super Bowls and whatnot. But I feel like with Lamar, he's like, if, if, if it's somebody that, in my opinion, this is my opinion, if it's somebody that you can call them on a first name basis or just a one name basis, then they are definitely up there for sure. Like Lamar, you say Lamar, everybody knows who that is. Everybody. You say Mahomes, everybody knows who that is. You say Brady. Everybody knows who that is. So if you on that one name basis, then you got a lot going the right way for you. But it's game day. We finally here, y'all. It's official. Uh, we've been waiting for this game, this moment, this new season ever since. What was the AFC Championship? Like January 28th this year, I believe. So it's been a long, long time. What is that? February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Man, it's been eight months already. Well, about seven and a half months, but still. That's a long time, and it seemed like it went like fast and slow all at the same time. But Ravens, you know it's official because they put out that week one hype video, and it was like I was I was enjoying it. it. It was cool, and I was watching. But then you know what got me? I don't know if the same thing happened to y'all too. Um, when they showed uh, Jacoby Jones and they showed Coach Joe D, I said, "Oh man, that that got me. That did definitely make my eyes a little watery, man." But um, it's time, man. It, it's time, man. Ravens need to go out there tonight. And get off to that hot start like we know that they will. But it's so, so, so important that they finish. They, they finish the job. They just get it done. Because you win this game right here. That can really just give you such a momentum boost for the rest of your season. And not that if they were to lose, which they won't. But if they were to lose, it ain't like, oh, their season will be done. And it's over. They won't be able to do it. No, it ain't nothing like that. But a uh, win in this game, especially this atmosphere, this will get you even more prepared for when, not if, but when you have to see these guys again. Obviously, it'll be much different circumstances, much different scenarios and whatnot, but you get a win tonight, that'll set you up so nice for the long run. It will set you up mentally because that is one of the biggest issues that the Baltimore Ravens have had with the Kansas City Chiefs. It's the mental part of the game. So you could tell that the Chiefs have been in the Baltimore Ravens' head, whether it's the coaching staff, the players, everybody. The Chiefs have been in the Ravens' head like crazy. But you get a win tonight, and that just changes your perception on the Kansas City Chiefs. That changes your perception on yourself. So Ravens, just straight up, whatever it takes, Play winning football and get the job done.